Okay, maybe can you tell us where Ganymede is in relation to Earth and how long it would take to get there? Kind of a, like a synopsis. If we did a mission tomorrow, uh, how long would it take to get to Ganymede using our current technology? You know? With that, say also. So uh, let, let's put a let's put a camera on that. If we were to so what I see is we got the Mars rover. We we go to Mars. We move around the Mars with the rover and we take some photos. So from my passion with Ocean Cam is to go to one of these planets and actually take a picture, but more than a picture, to take a video from from the liquid. We get to the liquid, take a video, whether it's live or we do like a, I don't know a twenty minute um, recording, and then we send it back to us. Or maybe we have something in orbit over the moon. I think Elon's talking about putting different Starlinks around, maybe around Mars and some of these other moons. So Starlink is called Starlink, and maybe he's planning to do it around these different planets and stars and things like that and um, moons. Yeah. So if we were to uh, take like the the on Earth, there's something called Explore.org, and they have uh, ocean cameras here in the ocean, and there's also Nautilus, and I'm sure there's other organizations who already stream from the ocean here. So if we could, what I what I'm envisioning is if we can get the people who already stream from the ocean here, get their technology with the people who are doing the Mars rover stuff and figure out a trajectory, we can maybe uh, send something to one of these places where we know there's liquid water, and then uh, we can move forward and kind of change our history on, on a planet, knowing that we've seen the water, everybody gets excited about seeing the water, and maybe more people are interested in space. So that's that's my vision. I mean, that, that would be really cool. Uh, my best bet would be with Europa and then hopefully with Enceladus. Enceladus is way more active, but the problem with Enceladus is that you're also farther away. Uh, so if you were to go to Jupiter uh, with our current technology, if it was light, it was a very lightweight um, mission, probably uh, five years maximum uh, with our current technology. If you, if you were really wanting to go fast, I bet you could push for four. Um, but it would probably be closer to five. Um, Saturn can take at least up to seven years. Um, but again, it depends upon how how much instruments are you are you putting on here. Uh, typically, instruments don't, um, as far as NASA goes, aren't just cameras. Uh, you, know, you also have your comm links and uh, uh, accelerometers, and make sure like like your health check um, system of your whole uh, package. Uh, but if it's just cameras, that's one thing. But if you can have like a spectrometer to confirm uh, water, ice, or different kinds of chemistries, that uh, that appeals um, to a lot of people too as like a, a verification. Pictures can only give you so much. I uh, so having some sort of spectrometer would be really nice. Uh, magnetometers are also really good um, for understanding magnetic fields, and magnetic fields can also I uh, make or break oceans, I uh, and uh, and how turbulent oceans can be. We got to understand magnetic fields around larger planets. Uh, so having having just those small instruments and our technology can make cameras and magnetometers and everything like that so so small. So it's it's not any stretch of the imagination to have a, a lightweight mission. I uh, time frame though, yeah, I, I'd say, and if you if your trajectory is just right too, because if you if you say you want to go to Jupiter, but you really want to be there in uh, less than four years, you're gonna need to do some serious like swing uh, with Venus. Um, Mars, we don't typically use that much uh, for Jupiter, but Venus is a really good planet for um, you go to Venus and you let Venus just kind of take gravity, hold you and, and just kind of sw uh, slingshot you uh, to Jupiter. Uh, if yeah. you want to make if you want to make good time. 